These are commonly caused by low risk strains of human papilloma virus, that is HPV, and they appear as small fleshy bumps on the genitals. So they can happen as single or multiple growths. They can happen separately or close together. They are usually painless, but they have the potential to grow in size and spread. It is essential to test for other types of sexual infections. Warts can be treated in different ways. So the treatment options include first, no treatment at all, because one third of visible warts disappear by themselves within six months. However, many do not, and they can be unpleasant and quite disfiguring, uh, leading to anxiety and distress. Another option are self-applied creams or ablative methods like heat therapy, removing it or electrocautery. These should be considered only if the practitioner, that is the person providing them, is appropriately trained. Now, while these treatments can be very effective, sometimes they can leave scars or changes in the pigmentation around the areas where the warts were located so it looks different and that contributes to distress about the change in the appearance of the vagina. The HPV strain that causes warts is not the same as that which causes cervical cancer. However, it is possible you could get infected with the high-risk strain at the same time. Therefore, please make sure you maintain regular cervical smears to identify any changes early that could suggest cervical cancer.